Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today what we're going to do is we're going to can us up some salsa. I've got 25 pounds of Roma tomatoes that I got from a guy for 20 bucks. Threw in about 5 extra bucks and got about 10 pounds of cucumber, so we're probably going to do some pickles too. So right now what we're doing is I've got that pot on the stove boiling because we're going to um, uh, basically scald these tomatoes and take the skin off because if we don't take the skin off before we make our salsa then the skin's going to get all rubbery and, and, and icky in the um, jar. So once we get this boiled I'll show you what we're going to do. So this is the last batch out of my 25 pounds, and the first couple colanders full, I peeled them all, and then I cut them all in half, and then I scooped all the seeds out, because that's how my instructions were, but I found it's a little quicker if I go ahead and use the knife and cut the little tip there off, cut it in half, and just peel all the skin off at one time. Now the next thing is, you got to scoop all that seeds out. You don't have to get crazy with it, but the more that excess juice you get out, the less time you're going to have to spend reducing it. But typically, I've been trying to just do one action at a time. So all I've been doing is filling up a bowl with cut and peeled tomatoes. Then I'll throw my ice bath back in the freezer to keep it as an ice bath and not as a bowl of hot water. And then I'll go ahead and scoop out all the seeds. Now what I'm going to try to do, because I don't like wasting stuff, well I guess most people compost this, but I read online that some people um, dehydrate it and powder it, which might work, but what I'm doing is I'm just simmering it too, and I'm going to try to, uh, you know, grind it out with my juicer and make some tomato juice out of it, and we'll see how that goes. So, I'm just going to keep doing that, and then when I get the whole bowl, I'm just going to scoop out the seeds there with my thumb, and then we'll come back, and uh, I'll show you what we got. Alright, there's my uh, stock pot that's full up of my peeled, halved, uh, seeded to Roma tomatoes. There's a sauce pot that has all my skins and seeds, and all I'm doing is kind of reducing that down, straining it, and getting some tomato juice. Okay? Now what I need to do is I need to um, dice up about nine quarts of those tomatoes for my salsa. Now, you could use your own spice mix, but it's just easier for me. I just went and bought a uh, little spice package so all I need is the uh, tomatoes and the sauce package and some vinegar. So I'm going to dice them up and then we'll come back. Okay, so we diced and everything, uh, drained it all out. I've got about a gallon or so of tomato juice so far. What was left, I'm boiling down for a sauce. So it's time to do the magic. That's some distilled white vinegar. It's about half a cup per um, per package of salsa mix I'm going to use. The wife told me she wanted corn salsa. No, oh, that's no good. Salsa mix. 
some mix. Some mix. Salsa mix. I've got two things of uh, corn, about 18 pounds of tomatoes, three uh, packs of mix, and about two cups of vinegar. And I put a little extra vinegar in there because I've added that corn. And we're just going to bring this up to a boil, clean out my mess. And then when this is all up to a bowl, we're going to get out the uh, water bath canner and can the jars. All right. All right, there's the first run. That's all salsa. That's my second run. That's got some tomato juice, some spaghetti sauce and some salsa and I've got about two inches of water over the top it's boiling I put the lid on there and do it for about 20 minutes uh, because of my um, distance from sea level okay so come back in about 20 minutes and hopefully all these will pop and if they haven't popped then we'll just put them in the fridge and eat them within a couple you know weeks or so I've got a plan, fits my point of view, I'm getting ready.